Hi there, I'm Daniel Seberg with IO Live, and we are at the Google Plus Sandbox, and I am joined right now by Timothy Jordan, who is a senior developer advocate, going to be our virtual tour. Well, no, you're not virtual. You're real. I feel real. <laughs> I, I mean, I just kind of... Yeah, you're, you're quite real. So you're going to be our real tour guide here yes. for the Sandbox. Yes. So tell me, first of all, what's over my shoulder? Let's start maybe our right to right left. Right over there? The left to right. Left to the screen? Yeah, left that to the screen. That thing over exactly. there. Exactly. We've got two Google Plus Hangout booths. Now they're showcasing Google Plus applications that were just recently announced. One by GoCo and the other by the Art Project, and we're going to learn more, more yeah, we'll about both of those. Right? Yeah. Okay. We've got office hours right here. Now this is where any attendee at Google I.O. can just come right up and talk to a Googler and get their questions answered about the platform. No question too big or too small? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Over here we have the lounge area. Now it's kind of like office hours, but a bit more casual. Go there to hang out and exchange ideas with your fellow developer or Googlers if we happen to be there doing some, I get you know, that. Hangout. Hey, hang out. we call it a hangout in real life nice. or a hurl. <laughs> right over here, we've got two demo booths. One is Google Plus History, and the other is Google Plus Events, both announced here at Google I.O., which takes us to another announcement at that big old wall showing the tablet experience on the Nexus 7 tablet that we just announced. It's really beautiful. And, and it's, what is this display that's going on? This is here? one of my favorite parts. Hashtag IO12, right? You Which write you a post about. with hashtag IO12 yep. on Google+, and there's a good chance it's going to be showing on this wall at some point during Google I.O. It's using the Google Plus API to grab those posts and do this great visual representation here on the floor. And I, I think it's actually a really cool way that we're bridging the conversation between here at Moscone and the rest of the internet that's also at Google I.O. You know, we have over 30,000, I think it is, developers joining I.O. Extended. So if you're out there, hello. <laughs> I think I saw your name go up there. <laughs> All right, well, let's go take a look at the, uh, the Hangout booth. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Right. Here we are with GoCo. Yes, and Alexander from GoCo joins us. Hi, how's it going? So we're looking at a computer game here, as you might play, of course, but you've integrated the Hangouts into the game, and you're in Hangout right now. Tell us about that's that. Right. So what Goku is, basically we're a games company in a, in a development platform, and what we've done is that we are helping HTML5 game developers create some really great games and offer things like multiplayer, virtual economies, things like that. So what we've done is we've partnered with Real Grande Games and we have Dominion here, and Dominion is a very popular deck building game. So we have this board game, we have Google Plus Hangouts on the bottom because this way we can integrate video chat and be able to play with multiple players across the country and make it feel like we're at the same table, but we're not. And um, with this, this game, we just have some really nice artwork from the game company, and we're just trying to create this traditional game experience in a digital format. And the graphics are beautiful, but you can also include some aspects of Hangouts, like facial tracking into the game. That's right. So one of the things we did, and one of the great offers that Google Plus Hangouts has, that we can use face tracking data and essentially overlay images from the game. So if I'm playing my friend right now, and I decide to play the minion card, uh, over on my head, you'll see right here, I've got the minion head face tracking me. It's like, oh, he's played the minion card, it's awful. So this way we know it's just a little more fun. It makes you actually feel like not only playing Dominion, but you're kind of in it. And when you're trash talking, you can actually see people just like you would in, in person too, yeah, right? Absolutely. That's great, so if people want to play this, uh, when is it coming out, how will it be integrated? So right now you can actually sign up for the beta if you go to dominion.goco.com and you sign up for the beta there. Or if you're a developer interested in the platform, goco.com and you can just sign up. So all of these games and many of our services will be released uh, later this summer. And for anyone who's curious about what that development process was like for Hangouts, can you maybe offer some advice or tips for people? Definitely the documentation, being able to work with the Google team is is been a blessing and it's it's very well documented and just having the right people to take a look at it all and it's, it's really easy to use so just in general just like keep at it and you'll be fine cool i'll let you guys get back to your uh, game here right cool. <laughs> yeah we don't want to keep you from the playtime. <laughs> yes exactly all right all right alexander thank you cool. thank you alex let's go check out smart okay all yeah right. good call Hey, Daniel, hey, over here. Timothy. I lost you there for a second. <laughs> it's a big place. So we're here with Peter, who is with the Art Project, which is a pretty cool way to experience art in a Hangout. Peter, can you start by just telling us about the Art Project? Sure. The Art Project is a platform that we provide to museums and institutions that want to put more of their art collections online. Um, we started about a year ago with 17 museums, and now we're up to 150 collections in 40 different countries, about 30,000 works of art. 
It's absolutely amazing what people can do, yeah. but now, through the magic of a hangout, you can do these same kind of tours of artwork with your friends. Yeah, we've basically brought the art project experience inside a hangout. Um, you can start a hangout either straight from hangouts or from the art project, and whoever you're with can either start a tour or share the works of art that they're looking at, and you can interact that way as well. All right, so you're in a hangout right now. Yeah. Okay, are you leading this tour or are you No, actually, a, a friend of mine, Marzia, another developer on the art project, is gonna be leading us through this particular their hang this okay. tour, so we're just going to wait until she starts it up. All right. So I'm going to start a tour here so I can show Peter what happened to me the other day here in San Francisco. So uh, our project Marcy's allows you to tour. search by collections, artists, and artworks. And this is exactly but I'm what go people to would see if they young, decided to um, choose this within a Hangout. Yeah, exactly. It's just an app that you and can start up here oh. at the top um, or directly I from the art project. And now Marzi is just walking us through um, the tour that she has picked for us. <laughs> so I was uh, saw this painting and it put me in mind of my favorite story, that of the titan Prometheus who brought fire to the gods. Uh, here on the R Project we can see this, what happened to him in stages. The first thing that happened is Hephaestus, the god of engineers, one of my favorite, bound him to a rock. So you can see here. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, an unfortunate a shot. You know, Prometheus just wanted us to be warm, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> oh. he decided to pick a good oh, one. Oh, I misspelled it. <laughs> uh, to, uh, then he's tied to a rock, and you can see him here. But the actual interesting thing is you can see what's about to happen to him. We have the eagle, and everyone knows that the punishment for Prometheus bringing fire to the gods was him having his liver perpetually chopped out by you the picked really happy ones for us, Marzi. So Thanks. that is the story <laughs> And I did not realize how appropriate it would be until I saw the zoom. But the idea is that you can look at all the details of the works of art, and someone, an art expert or an art lover like Marzia can walk us through all of the material and show us all the details that are the most interesting to them. You know, that's really cool. I think uh, it, this solves a problem, is being able to see art that you wouldn't otherwise be able to go see in person, and yet still do it with your friends. No, yeah. absolutely. And it, the opportunities for the museums and other experts to actually be able to reach a wide audience using Hangouts, um, Hangouts on Air in particular, the fact that you can record and broadcast it to as many people who won't be able to come to the museum or won't be able to hear the curator talk about the work that they know so well. Right, so we should say this is, integrates into Hangouts on Air. I mean, this yeah, is absolutely. broadcasting being recorded somewhere be shared elsewhere beyond just yeah. this experience. So it's museum educators and, and art lovers around the world can go back to it and find out more. So uh, one more quick question for me is, how is your experience developing with the Hangout APIs using, I mean, this is really visual, visually rich, right? Pulling that media in and showing it and synchronizing that across the two screens. I mean, the art project only launched about two months ago, so really we've been focusing on the development of this and other new features for the rest of the art project. So it was really quick and easy to develop for Hangouts. Um, a few uh, synchronization and message passing things to make sure that we could get the screens to sync up across all of the different machines and that the state would be as light as it could be so it would be really fast and responsive. Well, I'm not an artist at all, but I can appreciate a great app when I see one. <laughs> that is fantastic. Great. Peter, thank you so much for the uh, virtual tour. We yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Peter. All right, we've got some more stuff to see. We should go. Let's do that. All right. I'll race you. <laughs> hey, Daniel. Yeah. Let's sneak up on David Glazer. I know, here he, he is. It. He doesn't expect anything at all. Hey. <laughs> How you doing there? Hi. Good. How are you guys? Doing great. <laughs> We're doing really well. How's Everybody out there, this is David Glazer, a director Hello. of engineering here at Google. Uh, Hi. Nice Tell us a little bit about the uh, exciting announcements uh, related to Google Plus, some of the sort of things you're taking away as developers are interacting with folks here in the sandbox. Yeah, I think the most, to me personally, the most exciting announcement was there were a whole bunch of stats. The stat I was happiest about was one, which is we're one year old. <laughs> and it's, it, it's for us who have been working on this project for a year, that's really the most amazing thing is that in the 12 months since we launched Google Plus, so much has happened. I went to a session today of, where someone was talking about some of the new features in the platform, and they said, this is the first time we've talked about Google Plus at I.O., because it didn't exist <laughs> last year on Google I.O. And for developers, this is such a huge opportunity for them to tap into that as well and have this kind of conversation with different developers. Yeah, so, so really what happened over the last year 
here, you know, is we built up a base of users and usage and features that we then get to, we get to build on top of, and some of the news today was how we're doing that, and then more ways for developers to build on top of, and that's what the rest of the news was. So, you know, the, I guess probably the number I'm the second most excited about after one was 250 million, which is the number of users who are now Google Plus users. And having those 250 million users means that we have things to give them. And so we launched events. I know you've talked to some other people. You've seen what's going on with Google Plus events. We have a, a, a big event that everyone here is invited to tonight. That's great. We now have 250 million users who can use that and invite their friends and share pictures and go into party mode and all of that. Um, yeah, you know, for, we, we have ways for these users to get to Google Plus from a lot more places. So we have the new tablet, which is awesome. I have five emails from my son who was watching at home. He interrupted me every time a new device was held <laughs> up saying, Christmas or July, or can you bring one home? So, you know, so we have all these new places where you can access Google Plus and the, and the app is stunning on the tablet. The, the, new, the new UI on the new hardware is just amazing. It's just, it's hard to test because I keep getting lost in it. I keep saying, oh, I'm supposed to look for bugs, and then I read for 15 minutes, and oh, I'm supposed to look for bugs. That's probably a good thing, and allowed. It's a very good thing. Um, and then on the, on the developer side, on the platform side, you, you, know, you heard today that we now have more people using Google Plus from mobile than from desktop. And as a result, we've been really beefing up the mobile aspects of the platform. So we have new capabilities for mobile developers to make it easier for them to build Google Plus capabilities into their application. We announced the Google Plus History API today. It's an early developer preview, but it's a great way for developers to help their users save privately what they do in their app and then later optionally share it, which in turn leads to more use of the app. All these new capabilities being built on top of the 250 million users in the first year of stuff, so it's fun. All right, well, you were probably busy doing something important, <laughs> so we're going to let you get back to He's doing that. He's finding bugs. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretending to find bugs, yes. <laughs> Thank All you right, so much David, for your time. David, we appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. All right, okay. let's keep moving here. All right. All right, Daniel, now we're at the Google Plus History booth with Silvano. Silvano, how are you? I'm very party mode today. So I miss I'm it. I'm very excited to learn more about this. It sounds really cool. So yeah, uh, this is the Google Plus History API and it's an early developer preview. And like Instant Upload, it will allow users to save their online activities in a private space. And then if they want, they can also share it. And we launched this early developer preview because we want the developers out there to start experimenting with this API to bring their awesome content to our Google Plus users. But let me show it yes, to you. Please do. And I will use a start, an API starter that we have, and it's open source, and it's in our developer documentation at developers.google.com slash plus slash history. So the first thing you need the user to sign in to Google Plus, and this is very easy with our sign-in button. As you can see, this is the odd to flow that is gone seamlessly. Now I can choose one of the activities. So let's say I want to buy something. I click on the buy activity. The starter application is showing me the JSON exchange that it's going on. And now I will show you in the Google Plus user interface the moment that you've written. And this is your moment. I, brought, I bought Alice Adventure in Wonderland, which is one of my favorite books. And if I want, I can also share it. And if you see the rich snippet, it's populated by the data that you uh, spe specified using schema.org markup when writing the moment. And using the sharing model of Google+, Plus, I can decide to make this experience public or just share it with my friend or with my avid readers circle. And there you are. Now, if developers want to get started with the Google Plus History API, what's their first step? So they need to sign in, and we have a very easy procedure, and you can find all the information that you need at developers.google.com slash plus slash history. And we just need your email address, we will sign up you to a group, and then you are up to go and start developing and having fun, and send us your feedback. Great. So, Mano, thank you so much for this demo. Thank you we for coming. It. All right, we've got to run off to our uh, our last appointment here. Yeah, we're going to go talk to the events. Yes, let's do it. Events right. folks, yes, do that. <laughs> hey, Kavi and Tina, how you doing? What's going on over here? It sounds like uh, events is what we're going to be talking about right now. We've, we've been watching from home, and by we I mean, of course, everybody watching from home, and we saw the events announcement. It looks really cool, and I want a sneak peek at what you can do with this. Great. Um, Google Plus events captures the way people experience events in real life. 
Um, because an event doesn't end when you RSVP, we wanted to help people capture important moments as they happen and help them share and revisit those memories afterwards. So it's kind of this before, during, and after idea, which I love. So maybe give me a, uh, give us a walkthrough here. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, when you're ready to create an event, you can go to uh, Google Plus and click on the events icon at the top. Um, and you can create all different types of events, everything from picnics and barbecues to uh, weddings and even concerts. Um, you can create a virtual event using Google Plus Hangouts and uh, then share them with whoever you like. Um, and when you're ready to share them, you can actually share them with, uh, with circles or individuals, including people who are not yet using Google Plus. And uh, after you've created the event, um, the people you invited will actually see the event in their Google Plus stream, uh, in email, and Google Plus notifications, or even in their Google Calendar. So they really have no excuse for missing anything. <laughs> um, and during the event, you'll be able to turn on party mode. Uh, whenever party mode is on, uh, new photos you take with your Android device will be instantly shared with everybody invited to the event. Um, so that means even if you couldn't make the event, you're able to see all the activity and participate from your phone or your desktop. Yep. And after the event is over, uh, all the photos are collected in a single place and uh, you can view the most popular photos, the ones that have been plus one or commented the most at the top of the page as event highlights. Uh, photos uh, can also be organized by photographers or the people who are tagged in them, so you can see all the photos from the people you want to see them from. And when is this going to be available then? Um, so on desktop is rolling out today, so you should see it soon. Uh, if you go and install the new Android app for phone and tablet, you should get that right away, and it'll be available in the iOS app store pretty soon too. Awesome. This yeah. is really cool. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, Nick V. We appreciate it. And thank you, you Timothy. Yes, we will. For being our uh, tour guide here in the Google Plus Sandbox. We've learned a lot. <laughs> We've seen a lot of cool stuff. And, uh, of course, we hope people stay engaged with all this discussion. Yeah, we really do. You know, the conversation doesn't have to stop here. Please check out our online documentation. You can find out more about everything that we've talked about today. That's developers.google.com slash plus. Join us in the discussion forum and join us on Google Plus as well. I've got to get my hands on one of those, by yeah, the way. Me too. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks so much, Timothy. All right. And stay tuned for more on IO Live.